Hello, how are you feeling tonight? <clears throat> I feel pretty good. It's Thursday night, the end of my work week. I had a long work week this week. Very, very busy. A lot of kids. Uh, turns out, you know, Japanese school years, they begin in April. So for the first few weeks, everyone goes back to school and like they're just busy at school. So in our business, where we deal with school kids coming in, Kind of a few weeks there, there weren't a lot of kids because they were all back at school. But this week, wow, we had a lot of kids. So they're out. Maybe they want to get in one one quick school trip before Golden Week starts on Saturday. But yeah, whew, it's been a long week. But I got a lot done this week. I feel pretty good about how much work I got done. I feel good about where I am work-wise, progress-wise. Um... It was kind of a weird moment today where uh, my boss tried to give me a high five about, like, getting my work done, which is good. That's fine. But then, like, another person who's also my boss, that's kind of complicated, also wanted to give me a high five. And all of a sudden, like, two people were trying to give me a high five at the same time. And, you know, it was a little strange. I appreciate it, though. It's, it's, nice. it's nice for people to, to try and, you know... I appreciate they're trying to remind me that I'm doing a good job because, boy, back in March, I didn't think I was doing a good job at all. And now here it is, end of April. I'm doing fine. Doing just fine. Also doing just fine. Uh, we played D&D &D tonight. I'm very happy. We actually basically finished a campaign that we started, oof, I want to say November. December. I mean, we, you understand, we've got a table I mean, obviously the DM is there, and then there's five players. So this is six adults. And as you can imagine, it's pretty goddamn hard to get six adults in a room together these days. In funny, you'd think I'd be, the, I'd be the toughest one to get because I have two kids. No, I'm pretty much always available. It's always someone else has some other commitment or a business trip or, well... One of the person in the group has a baby, so that's like a like but a literal baby. Like she gave birth to a baby last year, so she's got to do all the new baby stuff. So it's like we definitely had one night we went to play at her house because like her husband couldn't go out, so we just went and played D and D at her house with her baby, just hanging out. That's fine. The baby didn't do anything. The baby didn't roll for initiative. It's cool. But yeah, we completed this quest, which you know, in game time was like one day, but. In actual times, we spent, again, I don't know how many months playing. <laughs> but it worked out really well. I feel like, I don't know. When I play D&D, &D, some of the people at the table, like, do character voices and, like, have a real personality. And I don't know if I've really got my character's personality down. I wrote a story about them, which I'm really proud of, like an origin story kind of thing. But when I talk as the character, I don't think I've got... I don't know if I have a voice or a feel for them, which makes me feel like I'm not role-playing correctly. Because the DM's, like, doing, like, a bunch of voices for all the characters that she writes. And one person, you know, at least one person at the table, like, has a very specific voice they put on when they play their character. And it's, like, it's clearly distinct from their regular voice. And I can hear it every time. So I don't know if I need to work on my voices. I don't know. What does the tiefling even sound like? I don't even know what my character looks like, which is also a problem. Like, I can't draw. One of the people at the party, like, they've, they've been drawing their character. They've been sketching their character for months. I can't draw. I don't know what a tiefling looks like. Every time I look at a tiefling online, it's like, it's just a hot elf with horns. It's like, I don't think my character's hot. They're kind of older, and they've had a hard life. I don't picture them as hot. In fact, I picture them as scary looking. But what does a tiefling look like? I don't know. I also don't know what to do next because we uh, we just hit level four, and you're supposed to increase your level your like your ability scores a level four, and I don't know whether I should increase ones that are already low, or should I increase the ones that are already kind of high but are integral to the character. Like if I'm a paladin, charisma is all important, right? My charisma is already really high. Do I kick my charisma even higher to make better paladin? Or do I try to round things out by boosting up the stuff that's very weak? Like, my dexterity sucks. Whenever we have a dexterity check, I always fucking fail. And my paladin falls in their face. So, yeah, I'm torn. But in any case, we're not going to be able to play again for weeks because adults be an adult.
But yeah, had a good time. Played a good game. Looking forward to our next session where we get to do the level up stuff. And we're going to do some character talking, which is like, I got to pick a voice. I got to pick a tiefling voice, I think. I don't want to growl, though. Grr. I am a ballot. No, that sucks. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'm an actor. A wannabe actor. Right now, I'm a wannabe sleeper, though. So, good night, everybody. I love you.